Welcome to Fifth Avenue. And I guess this is like the main thoroughfare through yes, Manhattan. Yes. And does it have some of the most iconic sites and shops, Paul? Yeah, it does. And it basically starts off from Central Park and then it leads further south. And did you know that Fifth Avenue is the point where it splits the city in half because ah. on one side is like the west oh. and the other side is the east. Oh, I didn't realize yeah. that. No. And we are walking uptown today, isn't that right? Yes, we are. So we're starting off at the New York Public Library. Well, as the name suggests, it is a public library, so I think that means that we are allowed to go in. Yeah. And there is a free exhibition on at the moment called Treasures, and it is featuring a Winnie the Pooh exhibition. Wow, isn't this grand? Well, we've got a welcome sign over there and it's going to give us an idea of what is on at the moment. Shall we go and have a look at the teddy bears? Hmm. Oh no, Paul. It's closed. It's closed. And it's going to reopen after we've left. Oh, no. oh that's very disappointing, isn't I it? I think that we need to see some other things. Well, we're approaching the library, shop, and cafe. So maybe we should have a look in there. What do you think? So we made some purchases, ideal Christmas presents to each other. This is a truly magnificent building, isn't it, Paul? Yeah, it's very, very stunning. It's um, lots of history and it's very old, I would imagine. Oh, I like the look of this. New York subways, 1977. Let's take a look at this.
And it's fascinating to see that the photographer who took the pictures for this exhibition, Alan McWheeney, was born in Dublin. This subway map dates from 1974. This one dates from 1977. Well, I thought that was most impressive. What about you, Paul? Yeah, I forgot what it was like to be in there. I think I went in a couple of times when I was at uni. This was like more than 20 years ago. So it was quite good to see, quite good to reminisce to see how grand it is and how much it stores, I suppose. Yeah, I, I don't it. think, well, well, I did as well. I don't think I've ever been before, but it's, it's one of these places where you walk past all the time and you sort of think, oh, I must go in there one day. And Fifth Avenue is one of those places where we sort of have passed maybe along yes. one of the streets to, to cross it, but not actually walked along it. I think, I think I have done in the past, but not for a long time. Well, leaving the New York Public Library behind us, we are heading towards 42nd Street now. Yes. And of course, as you said, Paul, Fifth Avenue splits the west side and east side. So before me, I can see West 42nd Street, but on the other side, it's East 42nd Street. I absolutely love the fact that you can pick up free newspapers and magazines throughout the city. But here on Fifth Avenue, they have various stands. And in this one, I see a paper that I've not seen before, the New York City Jazz Record. That looks interesting. Look at that. Down here, we have got the Manhattan Express. Now, we did pick this up earlier, so I'm not going to take it with me now. All right. Yeah, but it is a free local newspaper. We've also got campus news, a college paper. But I think I'm going to take that because in Uxbridge, I pick up the local Hillingdon paper that's produced at Brunel. So I think I'm going to take this and see how it compares. Wow. Look at the mouse, Paul. What's that? Uh, it's an exploitation of a construction worker. A 605 Fifth Avenue. Come on. So this is a way for them to shame the business oh. for exposing them to asbestos or like oh, I see. rat type stuff. Ah. I smell something fishy. You're not subscribing to our show, but it's easy. Just hit the subscribe button. It's Paul and Marcus on YouTube. This is the magnificent St. Patrick's wow. Cathedral and it is a real focal point here on Fifth Avenue. Cue church music.
was spectacular, wasn't it? We didn't expect to have yeah. a service going on. We've been very, very lucky. And I think that's the first time I've been yes. in St. Patrick's Cathedral. Me as well. Yeah. Surprising, because I have walked past it a number of times. Taking time to reflect, Paul? Yes, I certainly am. And I think that a good way to reflect your dedication and appreciation for our YouTube channel is to subscribe. Thank you very much in advance. If you are a fan of jelly cats like we are, then you must come to FEO Schwartz mm. at the Rockefeller Center. Now we've stepped off Fifth Avenue just a little bit to bring you here because they have a jelly cat diner and it's the first one in the world. We hope it's open. Let's go and have a look. I wanna make you shit, make you sweat, make you uh, uh I wanna make you move, make you groove, make you uh, uh I wanna make you shit, make you sweat, make you uh, uh I wanna make you move, make you groove, make you uh, uh I wanna make you shit, make you sweat, make you uh, uh I wanna make you move, make you groove, make you uh, uh Yeah, that was really exciting. The Jelly Cat Diner. So if you fancy a donut or an avocado, that's the place to go. Or some cake. Oh, well, yes. Or even a Christmas tree. Well, that is it for today's episode. Hey, if you like what you've seen, hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button now as well. We also appreciate any comments that you will provide. So those are always welcome. And until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.